I have a passion and that's to change the way general aviation pilots are trained, change the general aviation training paradigm. At the airline level, we do 100% of our training in the flight simulator. In the general aviation world, they're doing most of their training in the actual aircraft as opposed to the simulator. The simulator is a far better tool for learning, not just learning how to fly the aircraft, but dealing with cockpit resource management, dealing with decision making, dealing with various emergencies, and to be able to take things to full fruition in a full training environment, which is done very, very little here in the GA world. What it really comes down to when it comes to operating any type of machinery, and certainly an aircraft, is it's a total kinesthetic picture. It's, it's what, you, what you hear, what you feel, what you sense in terms of motion. So what's really wonderful when you have an advanced aviation training device is that you have a high fidelity representation of what you will experience in totality in the aircraft while you are in the simulator. Well, I have two very important partnerships. One is with Precision Flight Controls that makes the actual simulator. They build a phenomenal simulator. They're building the type of simulators that we have at the airline world. And a key ingredient, a key component to that is the D-Box motion. Because without the motion cueing to get the feel of the various abnormalities, the different turbulence, weather, wind shear, crosswind landings, engine outs, all of those different things are a key part of the learning environment. That's why the big airlines are, and, the, and the corporate flight departments are using multi-million dollar simulators. What D-Box brings to the equation to a small operator like me, I can get 80 to 90 percent of the benefit with my D-Box motion actuator. I'll go back to the first flight that I did in the flight simulator. Um, you know, we, we took off at, at Reading Airport and Paul was throwing a lot of stuff at me, you know, uh, make this turn, turn to this heading, climb to this altitude, drop to this altitude. Um, and I was completely nervous the whole time doing it. And the first time, that was my first time doing a landing by myself. The aircraft is swaying back and forth, and I think I came in really hard for a landing. But um, we paused the simulator then, and and I looked at Paul and I said, "Wow, that was that was really crazy. I completely forgot we were even in a simulator. I had thought we were flying the real aircraft, and that's where the whole nervousness came in for me." There you go. Excellent. Okay, that was your first major crosswind landing at a major airport. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I started training with, with Jason Barron at Lehigh Valley Flight and Racing Simulators. The price point is more effective than, than the, the bigger simulators. We don't need um, a big simulator for what we're doing here. So like right now I'm training for my ATP, my air transport uh, pilot license, and um, I'm doing everything in the simulator here. So I've been doing it for about 30 or 40 hours. Flaps up. Oh, 444 flaps up, gear up, identify. Verify, feather, secure. Raise. One of the other big advantages that we see in the, the simulator environment is the ability to introduce conditions ad hoc. As opposed to the aircraft where you look out the window and what you see is what you get. In the simulator, we can introduce uh, very adverse winds, or visibilities, precipitation in the form of snow. It's not safe to go out in, in the environment when, when the weather's that low, so we'll go into here and I'll teach them how to transition from instrument reference to a visual reference. In here, it helps to get used to the turbulence, and then when, when I go off a reel and I'm flying around some weather that's a little bit more bumpy than we expected, and they're bouncing around, I said, just come on, just think about the simulator when we're, we're flying along, you just, you just take the airplane, you, you hold it, you hold your attitude, and just accept the turbulence that's part of, of the weather. Right now, general aviation is in a very precarious situation. It's kind of a dying breed. Uh, airplanes are 30, 40 years old. The new airplanes are extremely expensive, and the cost of training is going to go up. As those older airplanes get retired and people have to buy these new, very expensive aircraft, we're going to have to do more training in the actual simulator to make it cost efficient to actually save general aviation because it's been on a downward trend for many, many years. So to be able to do a significant amount of the training in the actual simulator, we can do it to a much, much higher level of fidelity and realism. And that's what D-Box and motion actuators bring to the equations.